Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about import and export data in a Dynamics Nav. And uh, so uh, the version I'm using right now is Business Central and this version is on-premise and Business Central version 14.0.2. So uh, this version, even in this version, you will still see this functionality uh, in it. And, uh, but for the latest version of Business Central, you do not have uh, this functionality anymore. I think starting from the version 15, you do not have this anymore in Business Central because it's all using the web client. And kind of this uh, functionality is uh, deprecated and uh, replaced with, um, uh, you have to use a, a rapid start, but even in this version and the previous version of uh, Business Central or Dynamics Nav, you can also use the rapid start package if you want to import export data of Nav. But uh, this functionality exists, but some people may not know about this functionality. So uh, if you want to export the data, you can go to export to a data file. And then you have these options. You have the all companies, so this is like uh, you can define which company you want to select. You want to uh, export the company specific data for all the companies or you want to you want to only export for a specific company. So you can define which company data you want to export. And you have this global data. For this global data is the data shared by all the companies. And uh, so this could be like a report list and the user IDs and printer selections. Um, so this is not company specific data. And uh, so also you have this application data. So the application data is, the, is for those uh, application, uh, used by the applications like the permissions, permission sets, uh, user profiles, the profiles and style sheets. It's kind of like uh, you see those data in the system tables. So those are application data. And also you have this option, which is for application. So this will export the, like when you go into our development environment, you can export the objects to a FOB file. So that, if you select that uh, export option uh, for application, it's similar like uh, you're exporting the FOB file. So these uh, are the options you can export your data. So let's say if you are migrating from Dynamics Nav 2015 to uh, Business Central version 14, and then uh, for migrating of the data, you can just uh, use this functionality because this exists in your NAV 2015 as well. So you can export. So let's say if I want to export everything, I can export everything, then uh, click on OK. Then it will ask me to select a file. So then I can, so I already did that. So I don't want to waste time in this video for waiting for the data export. So then it will export the data as a .nav data file. And then you can give it a name and save it in the path on your local uh, on your local drive. And then uh, after you did that, then you have this file generated, and uh, it will give you a pop up message saying the data export is successfully. After this process, then you will have this file generated. And then uh, when you go to uh, so let's say if I'm using Nav 2015 after I did the data export export it to that data file I can go to my Business Central version 14. Now I can uh, go to import. Then you have this option import from a data file. When you do that, then you can select the file name. So then I can select that file I just exported. And then you can see I have these options here as well. Then I can select all these options. Then I can get all the data in to this new database. Okay. So this is uh, useful when you do the uh, when you do the uh, uh, data migration from a lower version of NAV to um, a higher version. So like even in the Business Central version 14, you still have this functionality, but not for the later version of Business Central. And so um, by using it this way, then 
so you do not need to use the rapid start package, so which is easier. And also, um, you, for the data migration, you can also run the PowerShell. You can run PowerShell command for there's some data export and data import command. You can use PowerShell as well. But this is the uh, easier way for you to use the GUI, the graphical user interface, and just uh, by using these two um, uh, tasks from like uh, import and uh, export the data. So that's easier. And uh, I think it's useful if you are migrating the data from a lower version of NAV, but I, this functionality does not exist in NAV 2009. I think you may find it in a later version of NAV, like as, as far as I know, it exists in NAV 2015 to Business Central version 14. Yeah, so I think it's very useful. Okay, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time.